Welcome to Casa de Confidence, a podcast for you. You'll hear some incredible women and some awesome cool dudes going confidently in the direction of their dreams and living in the purpose of their heart. You're our host, Julie DeLuca Collins, and you are our sidekick, hashtag handsome hot husband, that again, and the producer of the show, that I am. I am an author, speaker, coach, dreamer, and most of all, we help people go in the direction of their dreams and support them on their purpose. So pull up a chair, grab a drink, and make yourself at home because our casa is your casa. Hello, everybody. This is Dan. And this is Julie. And we are back for another week of Casa de Confidence. Hey, Dan, what are you up to today? I am up to watching this beautiful snow outside my window. How about you? I jinxed us. I said, I can't believe, I'm so glad we haven't had snow. And here we are. We've got snow. It's not a lot, but it is kind of sloppy and wet, slippery out. So I nearly killed myself coming out from the outside. You know why? Because <laughs> we do don't have on- a mat in the uh, out out. I can't even speak. Yeah, but you kind of you're getting flustered because you 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 just realized that you actually do that on dry ground also. You know, first of all, I'm not wearing my proper <laughs> snow boots, and second of all, hold on, I'm putting some lip gloss. For those on. that don't know, Julie is known for um, taking short trips to the floor. To the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to jinx myself and say anything that I have not been on crutches for a long time, but I have right. not been on crutches for a long time. You haven't. I don't think you've been on crutches since uh, we've been married. Yeah, I think that that's why it's a good thing that we're married because you've uh, given me. Are you saying I've added stability sol- to your life? <laughs> uh, solidification. <laughs> hey, by the way, thanks for watching that video with me today. Oh, that was cool. It was nice. It was a good video. Yeah. I liked it. We were watching Diary of a CEO. Your, 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 not, you, not your YouTube boyfriend. My YouTube boyfriend. <laughs> well, the guy you like. <laughs> I love Stephen Bartlett. Yeah, Stephen Bartlett. And he's got, I am, he's got, he's, he runs a great show and he has incredible guests, but so do you. Yeah. And by the way, uh, he is on my vision board to bring to Casa de Confidence as a guest. That'd be awesome. And by the way, he had Dr. Will Bolthewitt. And he is a poop and gut scientist. But that's not who we have on the show today. We <laughs> actually have some like amazing women. Um, hey, what is one thing that you were missing most of your life? Me? Yeah. What was I missing most of my life? Yeah. What were you missing most of your life? You. Oh, look at you saying the right answer. <laughs> Good job, Daniel. Uh, uh. Good job. A anyway. for effort. Um, <laughs> listen. I love the women who we're speaking to today. Mm -hmm. They have created an incredible conference that I can't wait to attend in sunny Florida. Mm. So stay tuned for that incredible opportunity. I'm going to put all the information on the show notes because you, my friend, can now get a advance ticket at a discount, and this will help you. Uh, Join all other boss ladies as we go into this incredible conference. It's an incredible summit. It's called Building a Boss Summit. Absolutely. And And it's got uh, Hillary Gadsby, right? That's right. That she is one of the organizers of the conference. And Lindsay from Leo and Lane. Well, you guys are going to learn about these people. Hey, by the way, Dr. Letitia Wright, um, who... We are cooking up something really interesting in the future, so stay tuned for that. But she's going to be another one of the speakers. Oh, a speaker at at the conference. Yes, oh, that's cool. I am a speaker at the hey, conference as well. By the way, I just I, I'd be remiss to say this. What? But if you love this interview that you're going to hear shortly mm-hmm. between Julie, Hillary, and Lindsay, go and check out Conversations with Pearl podcasts because yes. this same week they're going to be on her show too. Absolutely. And I'm sure they're going to talk about some of the same things, but a lot of the different things. And if you love what they have to offer and talk about, go check them out over there also. And by the way, I'm going to be in a panel. It's called Tune In, Tune Up, Marketing Strategies for Success with Radio, Podcasting, TV, and Live Presentations. Mm -hmm. And again, Dr. Wright, myself, and Pearl will be part of the panels. And it's moderated by the incredible Brooke Young. (laughs) <laughs> mm. anyway Brooke's I, pretty awesome Brooke is pretty awesome well, so we're going to be in Florida together I can't wait oh to meet gosh. her in person I'm going to meet Brooke too am I going to be there 
I didn't plan on oh, you coming to Florida. we're going to be in Florida in a different time. We're going to be in Florida for Pod Fest. Oh, my God. You just I'm let the cat out of so the bag. I'm so excited. You just let it out of the bag. We are going to be attending podcast well it, it's about time because by the way not only do we love podcasting but we love helping other people build mm-hmm. incredible dreams of podcasting and radio and building authority so they can make an impact on the lives Ooh, of others do you think we'll meet anybody we know you think knox and jamie will be there no but i know a lot of people that are going to be well maybe they'll be there but you know what i my friend uh rita goodrow friend of the show she's been a guest in the past she mm. will be there Alex San Filippo, who is the founder of Podmatch, will be there as well. So again, the incredible list of people. But we're not talking about Podfest now. We are talking about Be a Boss Summit. Yeah. And again, if you want to get your tickets, this is the time. And I want you to make sure that you check out the um website. <laughs> I lost my data. Train of thought, but it's in if it's fifty four days want away. Them to friends. check out the um, yeah, like I, steakums, like the sandwich, the steakums. No, okay. listen. Um, oh, I did it again. What's wrong with me? Because I'm trying to rush. See what happens when you rush me. <laughs> Let me take my time. Building a boss summit is going to be in sunny Tampa, Florida, March second, twenty twenty four. You're going to have incredible speakers lined up to help you. Build your journey as a boss of your mm. life, as your business, incredible networking opportunities. I want you to stay tuned for this conversation because in this conversation, we talk about Hillary and Lindsay's journey to where they are. And as always, our journey to confidence is not easy, but is worth it. Mm. Well, hmm. I think that about says it all. This interview <laughs> is incredible. I know you guys. Had a lot of conversation. Yeah. So, and it's brilliant. It's always brilliant. Yeah. But this one, it's pretty damn cool. Well, the power of influence in how we build things, which are going to be covered during the conference, are really important for us to continue to grow professionally and to create sustainable, lasting businesses. And again, we need to learn how to slay our day from the women who are already doing so building bosses day by day all right all right well all right julie the conference julie? and the interview julie yes love you i love you too daniel collins and you know what listeners we love you too and thank you so much for tuning in in and a platonic way though well, me and julie a little more than that but you guys if you are listening you. to the show we continue to strive to bring you a high quality show and it means the world to us if you could leave us a review. Yes. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, subscribe to the show so you don't miss any of the exciting things that are coming. And special plug for me, the Little Shot of Confidence are dropping on Thursday. So stay tuned to your ooh, feed. Ooh, you're dropping them on YouTube, right? No, and the podcast feed. Well, are you putting them on YouTube too? Yes. But oh I want God. people to subscribe. Oh, on subscribe Apple. here. But go to YouTube and, and, and comment on her videos. You can subscribe there, too. Alrighty. Oh, we didn't say that my TED Talk is out. Oh, my God. We <laughs> forgot. wrong with Julie's us? Julie's TED Talk is published. Go see it. Where can they go see it? They can go to YouTube, and we're going to put it. You know what? We're going to have a link go to YouTube, on our site. It type in, in your search, Julie DeLuca Collins, and it, the first video that pops up will be her TEDx talk. Mm-hmm. Hey, j- just check it out. Make sure you put a comment on it. Yes. It'll 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 help her get traction and and share and it. get it. It'll share it. You know, it'll boost that algorithm and it it'll get it out to more people so they can listen to it. Too. I had one of my kindergarten students watch it and uh-huh. text me to say that Aww. she loved it and That's that amazing. she's gonna share it with her students because she's a teacher. Oh, so amazing. that touched my heart. Yeah. I love it. That's sweet. It's a message that I want to have continued to be sent out Mm -hmm. into the universe. Yep. So go ahead and go to YouTube and check out Julie's TEDx talk. Just search Julie DeLuca Collins. And we're going to have all the information on the show notes, my friends. Julie. Yes. I'm so proud of you. Daniel, thank you. Not just for the talk, but, you know, the the compassion you showed in, in, in that, you know. 
and uh, bringing bringing the message of inclusiveness and and taking advantage of your moment once you've been included. Well, all that's crazy. all we can do. And if you are sitting on the sidelines, know that you can create the confidence with the right habits to show up and live the life of your dreams. All right, it's time. Enjoy this interview with Julie, Hillary, and Lindsay. Welcome back, everybody. I am excited to have two incredible ladies with me today at Casa de Confidence. If you know me, you know that I connect with high caliber individuals because the people that you hang out with are the ones that really uh, help you grow. So incredibly honored. I have Hillary Gadsby with me today and also Lindsay Croner of Leo and Lane, right? Lane, Lane. Leo and Lane. Oh, I knew I was yeah. going to mess that up, <laughs> boys and girls, but you know me. Introductions are sometimes a little stumbly for me. And Hillary is from Boss Talks. And the reason I connected with these ladies is because they are holding a summit, an in-person summit in Tampa. And I'm going to be there. I can't wait. But before we jump into talking Summit Tampa, because by the way, I can't wait to be there in in uh, when in the middle of winter, I think. So <laughs> it's going to be awesome. But ladies, welcome to the show. And I'd love for each of you to maybe tell me a little bit of where were you 10 years ago and how did you get here? Because <laughs> Most of our listeners are like, oh, people are doing great stuff. I could never do that. But there's a journey, right? It, and it doesn't happen overnight. So Hillary or Lindsay, I don't know who wants to take it first. Welcome and tell us a little bit more about that. Sure, I'll go. Um, and this it kind of brings into what, what created Boss Talks as well. But uh, 10 years ago, I was actually starting a speaker series in Los Angeles. Um, mm -hmm. I live in Los Angeles. And I had a I had an event company that I, I was producing events for a lot of different companies. I still do that. But um, my first company, I did not have any women mentors who would quote unquote sell and send the elevator back down. And so what I wanted to do was create something where I could give kind of the the day to day of what it meant to be an entrepreneur. And so um, I created a speaker series called Secrets of Successful Women Entrepreneurs here in Ooh, Los Angeles. So good. So long. The name is way too long. And Lindsay will be like, oh, Brandy, no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it got it got re uh, the name got rebranded to Boss Talks in 2016. But it was really an opportunity for successful women to tell their story of what it was like to be an entrepreneur, what it was like to be a woman entrepreneur and the trials and tribulations that you go through, but also celebrating the wins and celebrating the small wins and the big wins and really helping that next generation of women uh, to be on the right path. And so that's what I was doing 10 years ago. And from six years of that, I turned it into Boss Talks, which is now a mentor, a global mentorship platform for women entrepreneurs. Um, I cannot tell you how much I love this. Um, <laughs> one of the reasons I started doing what I'm doing is number one, I was in, in the corporate world for many years. And I found that we don't have as women, a lot of sponsors. Number one, the higher you get in corporate world, the less likely is that you're going to have counterparts and other women at your level. Um, but mentorship is an incredible important of the journey. And as I moved to going out and doing coaching, my original intention was to work with corporate women, but I've always had, had a side hustle, had the entrepreneurial spirit. And all of a sudden I realized like, wait a minute, this is where it's at because we need to have other women come alongside of us and share the, the battle scars and also say, hey, this is how you do it. And this is how you get from point A and point B. So I love that work, Hillary. And I think that is incredibly important to normalize that what the journey looks like for entrepreneur and especially mm -hmm. for women, if we want to continue to grow. So thank you for sharing that. I love what you're doing. So thank cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so amazing. much, Julie. But if I can add to what you just yeah. said, though, is that, you know, you were talking about your listeners and, you know, yes, that was 10 years ago. And and I am where I am today because of all of that. And this <laughs> and this brand, I mean, Boss Talks has had so many different iterations and it's about to have another iteration. And so it's not, it, it you know, 
it's not a sprint. It is, you know, it's a marathon and yeah. it takes perseverance and time and the right resources, quite frankly, and people, the connected yeah. people that you have in your life to be able to make it successful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. And I think that a lot of people think I'm going to start a business and then I'm going to make money and then it's all going to be good. But it is a marathon. And um, I was just watching the New York City Marathon. I used to live in New York. So I always love to see the videos coming in. And I was watching this young woman who filmed herself. And at every mile, there was a different, in some miles when she had a lot of support from her friends in the street, she was exhilarated in some areas where, you know, it was a little uphill and nobody was there to cheer her on. Um, it, it, she was like, I don't know if I could keep going. So there's different areas and different things that happen along the road as an entrepreneur. And it's, it's great that you're doing this and that you you're calling it a marathon because that gives people the context of what the journey is going to be like. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. So Lindsay, uh, tell us a little bit more about you and I, I can't wait to hear more about Leo and Lane, but what was the journey? Where were you 10 years ago? Yeah. So 10 years ago, I was, you know, fumbling through the corporate world as well. And I was trying to figure out kind of where my spot was. I um, had just met a guy. I moved to Michigan. I started, he's now my husband. That's why I live here now. <laughs> I um, started working for traditional marketing agencies. And what was so interesting to me, I learned a lot and I had a lot of friends in, in the industry, but there was a lot of stay in your own lane. And, <laughs> you know, if I was an account director, I couldn't have a creative opinion. Yeah. Or if I was on set for a big photo shoot that day, and we worked with huge brands, I'm talking like Newell, um, Baby Jogger, Sharpie, Calphalon, yeah. big, cool brands, or Latab. But if I was on set for the photo shoot, it was more to manage the relationship with my client, never to have a creative opinion. And so I um, went through two local agencies, and we partnered a lot with some big Chicago agencies as they're right over the lake. And I started seeing that I kind of had this talent that did allow me to crisscross the lanes a bit and to um, network with people. I think what you mentioned about the community <laughs> of women and networking and the journey, um, there is such a hustle and it's all about who you know. If you've ever read Malcolm Gladwell's Tipping Point, absolutely, um, <laughs> it's, it's so major in how we grow as entrepreneurs. So to make a long story short, I actually got laid off. From my last job. And it's true what some people say about that, where it really was the best thing that had ever happened to me. And I met some people in the job that I was laid off from that helped sort of catapult my career. They believed in me. And then in a short, you know, I had a couple short jobs just because I didn't have the confidence in myself to take the leap quite yet. Yeah. And I would come back all the time and say, I think I want to start this. And I would always talk myself off that ledge. And then um, I had hired three contractors who were working for me at the full time level, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I was still crippled in, in the ball and chain of corporate America was still at my ankle because I just couldn't let go of that stability. Um I finally took the leap almost five years ago. I started Leo and Lane. We're a digital branding agency that focuses on content creation for your digital storefront. Um, ironically, about a year into starting the business, the COVID pandemic hit and everyone was turning to their digital storefront. So they really valued their social media presence. Um, their first impression online, we're really passionate about making sure that we call it the three C's, that your content is unique and creative to you, that it's consistent. So you're showing up regularly and that it's cohesive so that your website matches your social media presence, matches your everything online for you. Because in today's day and age, when you have less than three seconds to capture someone's attention online and they're scrolling mindlessly, yep. you have to get their attention and then you have to impress them. And I think the biggest compliment that our clients say or that people say about our business is um, you're just like what I imagined after looking online. You know, you're exactly yes. like what I thought you'd be. Your place looks exactly like your boutique is exactly how it's pictured. Um, I love mm -hmm. the flow of your website, you know, all the things. Yeah. And having been in the shoes of someone who was so timid to leave corporate mm -hmm. America, our goal now is to help these women who feel stuck in this role. Um, we always say we want to help you turn your side hustle into a reality, turn your side mm -hmm. hustle into a full-time career because it is possible and you will never look back. And um, in this journey of just growing myself, I met Hillary along the way and she is the master connector as she, <laughs> as she claims. And we hit it off right off the bat um, in creating the summit. We've met tons of influential women. And we really, really, really are excited to empower others and to show them that there is a path forward and that through doesn't have to be 
chaotic through yeah. can be fun. Um, there's hustle, there's ebbs and flows, and we're just really excited to bring everyone together in one room and see it all flow. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you, I had a hard time not jumping into the conversation or jumping up and down and cheering you on as you're saying this. <laughs> Number one, I also, for as much as I had a little side hustle for so many years, I was so hesitant and afraid mm -hmm. of taking the leap. And I am with you. The best thing that has happened to me is getting that call to say, we need to lay you off. Here's your separation package because I've been thinking about it and it was finally kind of like, goodbye, here's your push. And you know, it's when and, your parents push you out yeah, of the house. That's right. Go get it's your like, own place. You're like, I can't live on nest. my own. Yeah. And it was the best thing that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and I remember, you know, there was a level and, and, and you know, my story is a little more comprehensive. The, the company that I worked for, um, the owner and founder, she was incredibly instrumental in my life. And talk about mentors, right? Talk about sure. the people that pour into you. Um, mm -hmm. sadly she passed away mm -hmm. and uh, the company had shifted and I knew it's time I need to go, but I, I couldn't just take the leap. But mm -hmm. when it happened, I, I, I remember hanging up and thinking, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to go and help women. I'm going to go and do my own thing. And I, I knew that, that, that was the path. But for so many of us, again, you know, we're conditioned. We got to check off the box. We got to do this. We got to do that. And guys don't necessarily, I think, have that as much as as women. Um, or maybe that's just my my perspective on it. But the more that um, we show up and see what is possible to rewrite our story, the mm -hmm. more that we're able to do it. And by the way, I need to unpack what you said. Showing up consistently, creatively but in a way that is cohesive is, is the jam. I just, <laughs> I, I'm thinking that you were listening to my last call before this interview. My ears I, were burning, weren't they? <laughs> yeah. I, I was speaking to a client and that's a little bit of what we were talking about because yeah. I was, she just launched a new website and she's a new client, just started working with me, launch a new website. She's not kind of sure what to do. She's someone that left um, a military career and now she is, um, you know, launching this new endeavor for herself, but everything needs to be cohesive. And yeah. one of the things that I made a big point is I want people to see me online. And by the way, I'm not perfect at this, right? I want people to see me online and then I want them to meet me and be like, oh my God, that's her, right? Like what you see is what you get. Yeah. And the same thing with my website. And for us, it's an ongoing process. It's not perfect. And this is what I want people to walk away that when you surround yourself with the right people, even though you're not perfect in the beginning, you're working through the improvement and you're building that momentum and consistency. And we constantly see that perfection is paralyzing. Oh, so, yes, you course. know, and, and as women, we let imposter syndrome, the voice of imposter syndrome get louder mm -hmm. and louder inside our head. And but once you get that confidence and mm -hmm. you overcome that and you let go yeah. of, of that definition of perfect, because by the way, your definition is only yours, you know, oh, what your body looks like, yes. what your voice sounds like on a podcast, mm -hmm. what the work is on your, it's all just you. No one mm -hmm. else is saying that they're not going to remember you for those things. Once you cross that bar or mm -hmm. that level, there is a glow to confidence. And I think what's mm -hmm. what's specific to my story is when I was able to, to metaphorically, if you will, spread my wings and really do what I was good at and confident in, then people were saying, I never knew that was in you. You know, yeah. I never knew you were capable of that. And um, it's just because I never spoke loud enough or I never believed mm -hmm. in myself to do it. And you don't look back, you know, and when yeah. uh, we have a first impression quiz on our website that we encourage women to take to say like, sometimes you can't see it, but if you take the simple quiz and it, it stacks up or it doesn't stack up, let us help you get there because Ooh, so good. It's, it's deep inside of you. You just need to really let it come out, you know, and then there's this glow. Yeah. I, 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 I go ahead, Taylor. Go ahead. <laughs> I know so much I love, to talk. I love this conversation. Do, go for it. No, I mean, I kind of, I love that because like when I, when I started out and I created this speaker series, when I would walk into a room, it was like, I felt so incredibly confident. And I knew that like these incredible women that I was interviewing were telling their stories and it didn't matter what they were saying. These women were like glued to them. And 
I just, I, I just love that feeling of confidence. And I, and I agree with you, Lindsay, that it's not, um, it's not about being perfect. It's about being oh. authentic. Mm-hmm. It's about being authentic to who you are and who you, and, and your brand. And I think mm-hmm. that that's so important. And what I love so much about Leo and Lane and Lindsay is that, you know, I, I met them in Nashville this year and I just, I knew that they would be able to bring building a boss summit to life. And they did like the color scheme, like they did this, the most incredible color scheme. And I'm just like, it's very Florida and very, you know, it's like, it definitely wants you to get, it wants you, you know, get out of your winter and and come to Tampa. I can't wait. I can't not wait. Um, You know, I just did a TED talk um, and Of course, you know, my brand is Go Confidently Services is based on the quote, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Uh, It's a quote that my dad told me forever and I adopted it into my mantra for life. Um, The one thing I talked about, and I think that it's very important that there's a misconception with confidence. People think that you have it and that you've, you know, you're an extrovert or that you're just going to go and and slay, right? But confidence is doing the work when you don't feel perfect and showing up consistently and being willing to do it in a 1% better every day. And then you begin to see the evidence that, hey, I am doing it. And that gives you the momentum and motivation to keep going. So I, I'm loving this. I think that, yeah, there's some, there's also a value to that first impression. And mm-hmm. many women don't know how to show up. And this is why I feel that building a boss summit, right? Building a boss, what I think of, and when I first heard the name, I'm like, oh, you're going to manufacture and you're going to bring all the right parts and tools for mm-hmm. people to actually craft their boss persona and go out. And we're going to come to the summit place where we're going to learn about it, talk about it, share experiences, and we're going to shine so bright that we can go out and do the shining on our own. So that's what I'm picturing. That's right. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> Nailed I it. can't wait. Nailed it. Okay. So what how I love you about both it, meet? Or, or go ahead. Oh, and Tell I me what you love about too, it. What I love about what we're creating for the summit is it's two parts. It's logical and inspirational. Mm. And so we are bringing the tools to the stage and to breakout sessions and to networking groups yeah. to allow people to really hone in on their skills um, and give them the chance to talk mm-hmm. to others that have mastered it. But we're also bringing to the stage into the room stories that are so unbelievable that mm you know, like Cheval's story is incredible and I can't wait for people to hear it. And we've gotten just a glimpse of it through Zoom and through meeting her personally, but to be able to let, you know, other women in the room experience that. And you truly will hear that and think nothing can drag me down, right? Like I can overcome anything. And once you meet other women and you all come together and you build this network, I just see the summit ending in this unstoppable force of like, power and momentum and confidence and joy and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not, and, and, and like Lindsay said, there's that, the, you know, the kind of the analytical side and the, and the, and the do side, and we are bringing those workshops to the table. So when women leave the summit, not only are they going to be inspired and ready to take on whatever comes at them, but they're also going to have the toolkit that they need to be successful right. from yeah. those women. And so, you know, we have, we have workshops in PR, we have workshops in branding, um, the digital storefront, like Lindsay said, we have so many tangible things that are going to come out of the summit that there's no way that no one will walk away with Mm -hmm. a nugget of information. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, it sounds to me like you have been incredibly intentional, proactive. And really seeing where, what are the areas that you need to go ahead and equip women with? And what are the areas that are going to make the biggest impact for their, their mm-hmm. attendance in participating? Um, tell me how you met though. I'm, I'm really curious. You said you were in Nashville. It's one of yeah. my favorite places in the world. So <laughs> I want to hear this. 
So we met in Nashville at another at another women's conference that I co-created. Um, mm-hmm. We're no longer doing that that conference. Um, it just from a from a branding standpoint, it didn't make a lot of sense anymore um, mm-hmm. because their the other partner's name was attached to it, and so it was very difficult for us to get some sort sort of notoriety when it came to the conference. So we decided that um, we were going to just do our own. <laughs> Wow. And I'm an event producer. So mm-hmm. I've I've got 20 plus years of experience producing events, especially conferences and curating speakers and things like that. And so we met actually through my former business partner, um, my former co- co-founder, Wendy. She met Lindsay um, in Nashville and was like, you know, we need to, you know, we need to talk to Leo and Lane and see if they'd be interested in partnering. And that's yeah. kind of how it happened. <laughs> And my business partner and I, Kayla, we were the ones attending that. And um, we jumped on one of the opportunities and offers that was presented at that conference. It was a a value that you simply couldn't turn away. It was a membership to Boss Talks. And, um, Mm -hmm. you know, being located in Southwest Michigan, and and we have team members in California and Denver and Kentucky, we're kind of based all over. But we found that those digital networks are huge for our success and the ability to network um, across the internet. And so mm-hmm. when we could become a member of this community online of like-minded female entrepreneurs, we jumped at the chance. Um, we got home, we signed up, we started networking, we met countless women. And then, yeah, we we furthered our conversation with Wendy and Hillary. And they sent me an email and I was like, oh God, the founders of Boss Talks are emailing me. This is mind blowing. <laughs> um, you know, and it just goes to show that there's a human behind, no one is too big or too small. Mm-hmm. We're all chasing the same dream and the same yeah. goal. And we're here to help lift one another. And they emailed it. I said, you've got to be kidding. Like we have been trying to get something like this off the ground for the last few years. And we've just felt so small or we felt like we didn't have that event producer background to really mm-hmm. pull it off. And so we kept saying on the first Zoom call, we were like, this is fate. This is fate. And yeah. so from there, we kind of rolled it out. And like Hillary said, the colors and everything, she took us out. Leo and Lane is very like black and white. We're a very neutral shell. And she's like, I want to do lime green. And we we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> but as the brand has unfolded, it's got this hop of like, just this like flare, floor to flare, if you will. Mm-hmm. So um, it. yeah, it's really exciting to build. Okay. Well, I am already, you know, I, I am want the holidays to be over, the new year to start <laughs> and for this to happen. Yes. But tell me a little bit of what um, we can expect. I know there's going to be networking. I know there's going to be support. There's going to be some tactical tools. But what are some of the things that you're crafting that will want to have the woman who's listening to this say, this is for me. I need to be there. Go for it, Lens. <laughs> I was going to say I can I can tiptoe in and then let you take off from there. Um, so what we really want to do, you know, our venue is in Bark Collective. It's a giant mm-hmm. co-working space with tons of potential. Um, as you, you know, first of all, before the event, we are hosting a VIP night. Um, we have exclusive opportunities there. So some, some, if you're looking for sort of that, like private opportunity to network, of mm-hmm. course, cocktails and snacks and things like that, who love doesn't it. love a VIP night, that's going to be ahead of that. Uh, but then Saturday summit really kicks off with entering the door, meeting like-minded women. Um, we have a full schedule of speakers from our opening keynote to our midday insp- inspirational keynote to our closing. Mm-hmm. And then in between several workshops, we don't want to just put women on a stage speaking at you all day long. So so it's really interactive. It's really inspiring. Um, one of our speakers has agreed to do a lunch and learn. And so there's mm-hmm. an opportunity to further your learning over lunch because, you know, you can mm-hmm. sit down and eat your food and that's fine. But what if yeah. you could sit in a room and continue learning and absorbing? Yeah. Um, we'll also have a full marketplace of vendors and mm-hmm. local and businesses from afar who have come in to market their goods. We've got some really unique sponsorships that are going to create these experiences um, and then we've got a networking session. And so I know I'm just scraping the surface, Hillary, of describing the event. And maybe if you could go into a little more detail on some of the things, but um, that's kind of how the flow of the day will go, in my opinion. Yeah. And so with some of the the panels, I'm really excited about, you know, a couple of the panels, one of which is is the influencer panel. And it's not about being an influencer as a, you know, a social media influencer mm-hmm. or a TikTok or anything like that. It's about women who have influence, who have built communities, and then from those communities have created businesses or they have, or they have monetized on those communities. Yeah. And so we're going to have agency owners, we're going to have 
bloggers. We're going to have people who have started other communities as well and and how they have leveraged those communities. And I think that that's a really important subject right now because Mm -hmm. that is how people are building their business is through community. You look at any any brand out there, you can look at Beyonce's Hive, Taylor's Swifties, mm-hmm. all of those people are, they're building communities. Those are yeah. huge online communities that people are building. And that is how they are getting their products and services out there. And so I think it, 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 every brand is doing this. And so it's yeah. important for every entrepreneur to understand what it means to build community and also how to monetize that community. And so that's one of the panels that we're on. And then the second panel, which you're on, Julie, is the, you know, the two Tune, you know, tune in and tune up, which is mm-hmm. going to be alternative marketing sources. So not every, yeah. you know, social media is all, is one piece of marketing yourself and getting yourself out mm-hmm. there. PR is another piece that is, you know, getting you out there. But there are other things like going on podcasts, going on television, mm-hmm. being on stage and being, an, you know, being a thought leader. So that particular panel is really going to be encompassing all of that and learning how to get on different podcasts and what those podcasts can do for you, what television radio can do for you, what it what it means to be a speaker. And we have a, a woman who's head of marketing for TEDx Miami who's going to be Ooh. speaking on the presentation side. So it's going to be yeah. quite an incredible panel yours and so many other things. And the lunch and learn is going to be about using AI to create content, Mm -hmm. you know, that hurts. Like, so there's just going to be all these incredible things that you're going to learn. And what I love so much about our summit is that it's, it's not, we're, we're actually, the flow is taking you on the journey that you need to go Mm -hmm. on as an entrepreneur. So it starts with your storefront. It starts with your branding. Yeah, right. Absolutely. So there's the mindset and then there's the branding and then mm-hmm. there's the, you know, the visibility. And then there's so we're we're taking people through almost a blueprint, if you will, in this summit. And that's what that's what you're going to get out of this summit. Ooh, and it's so also good. really important to mention that we've kept it really intimate too. So <laughs> there are several events and summits like this, and I've attended one before where it was 400 women in a room and there's a lot of magic to that, but <laughs> there is so much value in the intimacy that we're providing because you can actually have one-on-one conversations. Mm-hmm. You can exchange business cards. You can approach the speakers with confidence and, and there's yeah. nothing that you, you know, there's no conversation that, that can't happen within the walls of Embark Collective. And we're excited to bring everyone together for that. Yeah. You know, that is definitely lending itself to the environment for mentorship, for mm-hmm. sponsorship, for coming together and really learning from each other. Yeah. Um, one of the things that has really propelled me to continue to embark in this journey of supporting women. Again, you know, I mentioned my my former boss and my late boss. She was a small woman in woman in business. She by the grit and passion that she had, she built a multi-million dollar company and she wanted to make sure that she supported others in the process. Some of the numbers because I I think sometimes numbers can be sexy. Um and this is what I'd love for people to kind of put into context why this uh, summit is important for you to attend. In 1972, maybe some people weren't born, but I was, I was too. Uh, there were over 400 and 400,000 women that owned a business compared to 12.3 million. That's a lot of women that have a business and have taken mm-hmm. that leap, right, Lindsay? Yeah. Now, the key of this, and this is what I want you to really pay attention to, of these women, uh, women women-owned firms and businesses generate less than $100,000 annually. Yeah. And only, you know, a few of them um, are really making a go of it. Um, But globally, 43% of women are entrepreneurs. So Mm -hmm. if we're not making the type of income to create legacies, to create um, financial freedom, time freedom to be with our families and live the life that we want, we need to go ahead and get the right tools, the right inspiration and be put on that path. Because by the way, many of us are in the path, but we need to have the path in which people come alongside of us and walk with us Mm -hmm. and help us and say, hey, I've been there. I did that. And this is what worked. This is what didn't. And I'm happy to, you know, stand by your side and cheer you and hold you accountable as well. 
So that sounds incredible. Um, What are some of the things that people will find unexpected about the summit? I think, you know, I think there's power and empowerment and knowing every angle of your business. And so when I hear that women business owners are, you know, at a hundred thousand annual revenue, I love that we can, I think, I think we need to take in our own hands, the power of learning income taxes, hiring, PR, HR, Mm -hmm. marketing, content creation, Mm -hmm. um, I think you said it in the beginning where you you start your business and you just kind of auto expect to make money and be successful, but there is a hustle and to accept that you're not going to be good at everything Mm -hmm. is okay. But understanding every angle of your business is super invaluable. And that's also what we want to provide. So from bookkeeping to taxes to, I recently just switched from an LLC to an S corp. And I learned a lot in that journey. And I I consider myself a young female entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I've only been in the business five years. And so some of those people that have been around kind of just kicking the can in the same direction to be able to inspire them to to take action on something that they've thought about for a while or or that they've heard about or to meet someone in the room that can help them with that, I think is the unexpected elegance of this summit. Yeah, I I, I agree. (laughs) And I think the theme of our, of our summit is truly reinvention and, and mm-hmm. how all of us have reinvented ourselves. Like I said earlier, I've reinvented boss talk so many times, I, you know, and I'm doing it again. Um, and, you know, I think it's, um, I think it's so important to show that women are truly a catalyst of change and we can move economies And I think that a lot of the attendees will feel that in the room, they'll feel that energy. And when it comes to a boss talks event, there's just an energy. It just is. It just, it's an incredible energy of women just supporting each other and only wanting to support each other. There's no competition. We don't believe in competition. We believe in collaboration. We Mm -hmm. believe in making strategic connections to create opportunities. And I think that that's really important. And with what Lindsay said is that we are doing a smaller summit. There's only 120 people that can fit Mm -hmm. into the auditorium. Well, of those 120 people, mostly women, you're going to be able to make those connections. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to be doing a virtual connection before the summit even happens with all the ticket holders so that they can actually meet each other before they even meet in person. Yeah. So good. So good. I love that number. I think that that's the sweet spot. That's how many people I had at my wedding uh, because it was a good number. It wasn't huge, but it wasn't, you know, just too intimate, right? Especially if you're looking to um, connect and have fun. I, um, I'm wondering because I think that our experiences really shape us and we've talked a little bit about mentoring. Mm -hmm. I'd love for you to share who has been the most impactful mentor for each of you? Ed Hillary, you can take the lead on that. My mother. My mother was um, was my my biggest mentor. I would mm-hmm. say um, she passed away in 2021, um, and All she right. has always taught me to be resilient. That no matter how many times I fall, I can get right back up again. Hence mm-hmm. my reinvention every few years. <laughs> Um, she, she really was that person that, um, that, that made me who I am today. Um, she taught me to be a connector. I was Mm -hmm. introduced to the casino mogul, Steve Wynn because of her. And then from there, I was able to get myself an internship with Ralph Lauren in Paris through him and, um, and then spend my entire career and life connecting people to opportunity, how to leverage connections for yourself, for others. That is, that is the mentorship that I received from a very young age when I was 15. Ooh, so fun. Ralph yeah. Lauren in Paris. That makes me think of Rachel from Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, my life is a lot like Emily in Paris. Um, oh, fun. Yeah, very, 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 very fun. much so. Very much Amazing. so. When I, when I first saw that show, I was like, oh my gosh, that was me when I was in my yeah. 20s. <laughs> there you go. Life, uh, you know, uh, art copies life. It's, it, it's so fun. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. You know, I have found that 
a lot of women are very much um, inspired and mentor by our mothers, which to yeah. me says that, you know, again, the conversation of legacy. I do a lot of what I do. Yes, I am passionate about entrepreneurs. I am passionate about women and helping them reach their dreams. But I have nieces Mm -hmm. and I want my nieces to know that, girl, you can do it. And if I did it, you can do better. And this is the path. And, and we're creating sustainability for the future. So maybe in 20, 30 years from now, 40 years from now, it's not 12 million women owning businesses, but it is like 40, 50, 60 million women, um, because that's going to have an impact in our communities. When women have a business and they have income, they spend it and invest it in the community. Yeah. So, yeah. Love that. Thank you for sharing that, Hillary. What about you, Lindsay? I love your example of paying it forward because I'm so passionate about speaking to colleges or I spoke to I spoke to a middle school. I want people to know that you might not be in sitting in a class learning how to create a TikTok right now because mm-hmm. what I do, there's you know, it's it, it's funny. We laugh that like this is our career. Yeah. We make TikTok videos, we <laughs> yeah. make user generated content. Um, and so I want to inspire them and let them know there is, you know, something, it, it doesn't have to be so cut and dry and you don't have to leave college and attend the career fair and build a resume. No. Like there are unique no. ways of moving forward, um, in today's society. But the mentor question is really different for me. I feel like, because I can't pinpoint one person that's mm. been that. I think it's been a collective group of people, um, from my husband who said, you know what, you've come home for five years now saying you wanted to do this. Let's do it. We can do it. I believe in you to my family, my dad, who set the example of owning, starting a Mm -hmm. business and the confidence that I saw that he was able to leave to my business partner who joined me on day one. When I said, I don't know if this will work, but if you're confident, you can get a job if it doesn't. And I'm confident, like, let's try this. And we've not looked back since to former bosses and colleagues who have pulled me aside and said, I believe in you, who when I was laid off, they were the first people on my LinkedIn page writing me a big, long, glowing review. Um, Just that group of cheerleaders who were rooting me Mm -hmm. on before I knew to root myself on, Mm -hmm. um, to people I'd met as coworkers who we'd go and get lunch and I'd tell them about these ideas. And they're like, how can I help you achieve that? You know, I Mm -hmm. think for in my in my shoes, it's just been such a community of people. Um, Lane and Leo and Lane is from my mom. Um, And then ironically, when I met my husband, his mom, sister, grandma, their middle name was Elaine. Um, My daughter who I had six months ago, her name is Elaine. We call her lady. So, so there is that underlining female mother, Mm -hmm. influential um, part Mm -hmm. of, you know, what's ingrained in this business, but overall the community as a whole has come together to really support and cheer me on. And um, we've seen success in that network. So thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, There is a concept that I learned from a girlfriend of mine. And I talk about it in, in my book. And, and, and by the way, that's exactly the theme, right? My book is about all the women that influenced me and poured into me. But the concept that I heard from Valerie is believing mirrors. And I believe that this is what we need to be for each other. There's a lot yeah. of times that we look in the mirror and we're starting to focus on the lines, the discoloration, or what is wrong with that face, but we need to have somebody look at us and say, wow, look at the beauty, the potential, the ability, um, the gifts that are there. And the more that we, again, surround ourselves with these believing mirrors, the more that we can exponentially grow and succeed and then turn around and be a believing mirror for somebody else. Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Oh, good. Um, tell us, um, Real or specifically some of the details that people need to know when it comes to the event, because I am listening and I know that if if, um, I were a listener as well, I would have tons of questions. So where do we stay? How do we sign up? What is the timeline, the dates, all of that? Uh, And we're going to have all of that in the show notes, but I want people to also hear it from you and get excited. Sure. So the summit is on Saturday, March 2nd, 2024. It starts at 8 a.m. So the doors open at 8 a.m. for the marketplace. There will be an hour of networking in the marketplace before the the conference actually starts at 9 a.m. And it will go until 5 um, that day. 
for the content. And then we have a networking cocktail hour from five to six. So that is, um, that's the full day. You can find us on buildingabosssummit.com. You can learn all about all the speakers, the timeline of the agenda, and also all the different sponsors that we have on board. Oh, so yep. now I would imagine people can come early. There's that VIP um, uh, VIP opportunity. Tell me more about that too. Yeah, so the VIP night... VIP night's going to be Thursday. Um, obviously, we found or we we thought it would be fun to if you're going to go to Tampa, like don't just go for the two days, right? So we put the VIP a little yes. bit earlier because we want people to have a day where they can enjoy. Brilliant. And also, you're so you're so ragged when you go from a nightly VIP and then you're at the summit the next day yeah. and you're not your full self. So kind of building in that buffer day was our chance to be like, if you attend the VIP, then go have lunch with the people you met on Friday and oh. then be so rejuvenated. Come in with your coffee, excited to participate in the marketplace on Saturday. Um so the VIP night, um, we're still working through the logistics, but we have a lot of potential for where it will be held. So we're excited to reveal mm-hmm. that shortly. Um, we've got a couple big sponsors kind of looming for that. So there's um, some things still brewing, if you will, but a lot of potential. Um, I think it's fun that the sponsors for the summit, Icelandic, Recess, Red Bull, <laughs> like all of these like awesome yes. hydration brands have come together to keep us motivated, and empowered. But um, for the VIP night specifically, kicking things off, it'll be a much more intimate crew. Um, Thursday night, we'll be there. Um, We'll have some amazing vendors and some unique Mm -hmm. opportunities to shop and network and snack and drink and all the things. Um, And then getting there, like Hillary said, you can check out our website, the tickets, you can buy tickets online as well. We're Mm -hmm. also running a current promo right now called the Biz Bestie. So it's buy one, get your second ticket, $50 off. Or for those that have a small team and they want to bring everyone, which so I have five people on my team and I love, we do kind of a team trip and we, we go and take advantage of these learning opportunities um, all over the place. So if that's something that is similar to your story and you want to buy five tickets, then we have the tribe tickets is what it's called. You can buy four and get the fifth one free. Ooh, so a lot of incentive right now as we, yeah, as we round out the year. Um, and of course you can follow us on social Instagram's our main profile that we're uh, working in right now. And that's at building a boss summit as the username. So Oh, so good. So good. So now, um, will you have a list of hotels or is there a home hotel? What, and, and I know that a lot of people yes. are doing Airbnbs as well. So yes. what does that look like? Or I know I'm staying with Pearl wherever she's staying. So um, <laughs> that's what happens with business besties, right? But I want to know yeah. what are the options for other people as well? So we're 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 at the moment um, putting that together, but one of the mm-hmm. one of the hotels is called the Hotel Haya, which is in mm-hmm. Ybor City, um, which is about a seven minute drive from Embark Collective, nice. and it's right in the heart of all the fun things to do in Tampa. So we're we're really excited about that. And um, so one of them is the Hotel Haya. Then there are some other hotels that are near Embark Collective in downtown mm-hmm. that we're also talking to. We're not doing a room block, but we will be giving options for people mm-hmm. if, they, if they're flying in uh, for places to stay. Yeah. And to keep our door open and, and offer what we believe wholeheartedly is our DMs are always open. So mm-hmm. if you're looking for a place, I'd love to scour Airbnb and send you a couple links. I'd love yeah. to recommend some hotels in the area or places to eat. So um, we've been down once the hurricane came through when we, <laughs> we went down the first time. So that was interesting. Um, but we have a Boss Talks has a local chapter down there as well. So we're very connected in the area. We've been working with some amazing partners like April mm-hmm. Caldwell of Faven, who have helped us uproot this entire summit. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if, you know, it's less about a block of rooms with a discounted yeah. rate and a commission, yada, yada, yada. it's yeah. more about you do what you're comfortable yeah. with. And if you need some recommendations or you want to talk to someone or you want to bunk with someone, let's start connecting. You know, That's I think right. it's all about that. And then we get down there and we just have a blast. So. Oh, so I, I, it's so exciting. I have to tell you, um, there is so much connection and power in The time that we spent with others outside of the actual event, I just hosted my annual CEO retreat. It was in person. I've hosted it several times, but this was the first year that I did the in-person and Mm -hmm. people arrived on a Thursday. We had an event Thursday. Friday was a fun play. We went to bed early. Um, Saturday, we worked hard and then Sunday was celebrated and kind of said goodbye, but it was a, a very similar in which the connections and people ended up sharing a room with someone that may not be someone they knew necessarily before, 
but they got to know them. And now they're besties in, in this world of entrepreneurship. And they walked away with, with an ally. They walked away with a believing mirror. They walked away with an accountability partner. So don't be yeah. afraid uh, to connect. Mm-hmm. I know that you mentioned um, a little bit about the local chapter. Uh, so Hillary, tell me more about boss um, boss talks and how does this work? And can sure. people join a chapter? How do they find it? Can they start a chapter? Tell me more. Yes. So um, our Tampa chapter is run by two incredible women, Bria Patty, who is a local realtor, and um, Jenna Schwartz, who uh, is an entrepreneur herself. And then she also started um, the Entrepreneur Club in, in Tampa as well. So they they run our chapter. They do events all the time. They do. <laughs> we typically have about 30 to 40 people at our events. They're smaller, wow. they're more intimate, um, I love more it. connection. Um, so we do that at a, you know, a restaurant or some sort of venue. Our last event was at Kendra Scott um, in Tampa, which Lindsay and I were supposed to be at, but like she said, the hurricane came through. So we had to like change the date. And and so unfortunately we couldn't be there, but the ladies did an amazing job running that. Um, You can start a chapter as well. Um, Like I said, I'm in the middle of pivoting very heavily. We do have um, Canada chapters as well. So we have a Toronto chapter, a Vancouver chapter, chapters kind of all over, but I am making some changes, but yes, you can, you can start a chapter in your city. If you're interested, um, welcome to DM me, like Lindsay said, um, to learn more, but, um, yeah, so our, our chapters put on events every, um, we, we were doing every month, but some of them do every quarter. Awesome. Um, I know that there's someone listening that is saying, I need this. I'm going to connect. I'm going to send Hillary a message. Uh, Lindsay, as um, an agency that's doing a lot of different things for individuals, and I know that you're working with Hillary, I can't wait to check out more of the stuff that you're doing. I did not get a chance to do it beforehand like I normally do, but tell me more. um, What do people need to know about your agency and how can they partner with you? Yeah, so we are a digital branding agency that um, creates content for your digital storefront. And it's really our ideal client is a woman who owns a business or who's thinking of starting a business. And you're twofold. You're either you have this all these ideas in your head, but Mm -hmm. you're working your full time job, you get home, take care of the kids, the dogs, whatever the case may be. And you simply run out of time to get it off the ground. But it's it's here and it's busting at the seams, right? Or you've started it and you've kind of slowly peddled your way through creating a makeshift logo or starting a website (laughs) or having your cousin friend run your social, something like that. (laughs) Um, So we always say like, let us be your extra eyes, ears, and hands, Mm -hmm. give you back the time, resources, and creativity that you might lack. Um, to really help get your side hustle off the ground. So whether it's a brand new logo name and business concept that we're creating together, or it's something that we're just repolishing, rebranding, um, bringing a more cohesive approach to everything. We're really passionate about not taking orders. So we consider ourselves partners as opposed to just order takers. Um, And so a lot of a lot of our clients, when we come in and we help them with a logo or we build a website or we do a brand photo shoot, which turns into your social media content, um, a few months in, we also end up spitballing their key services, um, Mm -hmm. being a focus group for them on their price point and their objectives. Um, We just met with, uh, we have a client who's a real estate agent in Charleston and she hopped on the phone with us about her budget and her listings and the timeline. And just to be able to be that ear and that, you know, forum for her to bounce ideas off of, that's kind of what we become with our clients. But primarily we focus on the content and your brand and how to get that all out there so that you then have the confidence to go back and do what you do best in your business. Oh, do what you do best, delegate the rest. That's my motto. So <laughs> I love uh, it. amazing. Ladies, I can't believe this time together has uh, gone by so fast. Fly. Time flies <laughs> when you're having fun. Uh, give us one more time the website and your uh, personal social medias as well. How can people connect with you best? Sure. So go to buildingabosssummit.com. So it's got three S's. So B-O-S-S-S-U-M-M-I-T, buildingabosssummit.com. You can also visit us at Building a Boss Summit on Instagram and Facebook. And then for Boss Talks, we are at Boss Talks Network. Cool. Yep. And then we are at Leo underscore and underscore Lane, L-A-I-N-E. Um, and then, yeah, like all the boss talk stuff that Hillary said. So we're excited to connect with you virtually ahead of time and hopefully meet you all in person uh, this coming March. So 
Amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. You've been incredibly generous with being here, your time, but more importantly, I am so proud of the work that you're doing and thank you on behalf of the women that are going to benefit and are going to be impacted by this great event and the opportunity to grow together. I am thrilled to be a part of it. So thank you again for including me. It's an honor. And I have one last thing for you ladies. Uh, Don't forget, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. We definitely will. Thank you so much, Julie. You're welcome. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to Casa de Confidence. We thank you for listening. And if you want more, go to casadeconfidencepod.com. Check Julie out on her socials as Julie DeLuca Collins. And you can also check out her website, at goconfidentlycoaching.com. Have a great week, and don't forget, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Hi, everybody. I know that sometimes we get very lonely in this entrepreneur journey, and I want to invite you to join us into our limited time only purposeful you mastermind. For many of us entrepreneurs, we believe that we can do it all. But the reality is that doing it alone only creates a lot of overwhelm. So join us at the purposeful you mastermind. You can find out more information by going to bit.ly forward slash Julie's mastermind. This is going to be the place where you are able to then unlock your full potential and achieve long-term success for your business, push you behind your current limits, expand your connections, discover new ideas, and implement them with confidence. You're going to get the support in all aspects and transforming you to the six-figure business you've been looking for. Pause and get off the hamster wheel if you've been spinning around. This is a time where you can get that support from like minded entrepreneurs that are here to join you in your journey. Together, we can challenge the assumptions and land the speaking engagements and opportunities we want to grow our business and make an impact in the lives of people. See you then. Remember, you can find the mastermind at bit.ly. Julie's Mastermind.